How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be unlocking the 93 overall Dennis Eckersley. I finished the evolution moments for this card so he will be uh, plugged in to the bullpen. I'm going to be using him as a closing pitcher. I faced him once before when Zebrev used him against me and this card seemed to be really good. I also recently unlocked the 85 diamond created player at the catcher position and I decided to go with the power focused. If you guys checked out the last video, you saw that at the end of the video. So we're going to be uh, making a debut with Pablo Sanchez, the 85 overall created player. So the lineup is kind of the same. I also wanted to try out Josh Donaldson. So, I mean, I've, I've tried him out of, for one game before, and he actually made his debut in the last video. But I wanted to try him out at third base simply because he does have that solid reaction. Anyway, with Pablo Sanchez in the first at bat smashing a home run on a perfect perfect uh, fly ball there opposite field that's Aldoberto Mondesi's uh, swing he has a really good glitchy swing from both sides of the plate a nice no doubter but uh, this opponent is a very good player I've noticed his I recognize his PSN I believe I've played him before in previous MLB the shows and he might be a supporter of the videos I'm not quite sure for some reason I want to say I remember playing against this person in MLB The Show 18, and uh, he used Phil Necro against me. I'm not exactly sure on that, but I I think that's why I remember his PSN name. Anyway, uh, I feel like uh, this guy is a good player. He's a good hitter, so I remember that as well. I believe we played that game at Chase Field, and I was the home team. I'm not I'm not sure on that. I'll have to see if I can look back on some videos. Anyway, he goes deep there, a two-run shot with Mitch Garver, and that puts him up by one run in the bottom of the third inning. I have Oral Hershiser on the mound, and he's been pretty good for me. I've kind of mixed up my fifth spot of the rotation. Here's a fly ball from Ricky Henderson to Mike Trout, and I felt like I tracked that one down pretty good, but there are some defensive mishaps going on in the outfield. I've noticed a lot of people saying some of those things. Here's a hit and run with one out. He's trying to steal... Uh, third base and second base he does have Ricky Henderson so 99 speed is tough to throw out regardless but we end up uh, getting it out on the play he tries to advance the second base which probably ended up costing him another run in that last inning he did take a two run lead now down to one after Joey Gallo sends that one out on a no doubter Pablo Sanchez up again one for one with the home run already and he's ripping another base hit so that's going to make him two for two. He definitely has some good solid contact stats and he's going to get the, those exit velocities because his power is 100. So with that being said, I am going to go with the balance focused catcher when it's all said and done for the 88 or the 89 overall version. I believe it's an 89, but I just haven't confirmed that myself. Tatis is bringing Pablo Sanchez and himself home on that last two run shot, followed by the next batter, Josh Donaldson, who has been incredible i had two home runs for him in the first game i used him now he has another home run here in this second game i'm using him so it's going to be tough to take that card out but i do want to try and pick up the team affinity glaber torres i know uh i'll be able to unlock that card over time regardless after using some of these yankee players i want to also try and unlock that curtis granderson center fielder from the yankees but uh, byron buxton's ripping a base hit i feel like i just need a few more online base hits with center fielders I would have already had that Curtis Granderson unlocked if the stat missions were already counting towards that but I for whatever reason I wasn't earning any base hits towards that catcher online mission however uh, the opponents get something going here he's has a uh, has a home run in the inning already and now he's trying to advance a couple runners with the bunt and uh, that's that's one of the another reason why I felt like I played this guy before I just remember him playing some small ball against me I believe he had Phil Necro on the mound I might even have had Phil Necro on the mound and MLB the show 18 I remember trying that card out for a few weeks to, to maybe a month but Joey Gallo blasts another home run so that's going to be the second home run for him in the ball game and uh, he does have quite a few home runs for me on the squad almost one home run every ranked seasons game I've played this will be my 21st game played obviously I haven't had all of these face of the franchise diamonds after uh, the first few games I played I tried to unlock them but I haven't had them for all 21 games here Pablo Sanchez already two for two he's smacking one down the line for a double play that's unfortunate that could have easily been a double down the line if it got out of the reach but 
We do have a tired Roberto Osuna in the game, and I'm trying to get out of this inning because he's due up next to bat, or if I, I have a good chance to get him up to the plate in the next inning, I'm trying to get him out of the inning. However, I was not able to do so. He gave up that homer. I figured I would bring in Shohei Otani, so that way I wouldn't have to waste a pitcher in this situation in terms of I could just leave Shohei Otani up, up at the plate, and here he is right here, but... Anyway, uh, he gave up a home run to tie the game up. That was a hanging curveball. I missed the sinker just a little bit. It was deep enough to potentially get that run in when Byron Buxton is on the move, but uh, he caught it running into the wall. Next inning, top of the seventh, tied at 6-6. Six to six. So we, we are uh, moving to the later third of this game. We need to get something going here. We need to kind of break the game open right now. I'm still going to leave in Shohei Otani at this point. He wasn't fully rested. But he was more rested than some of the relievers that I had in, in the bullpen. I've been using a lot of those relievers. I've been giving up a lot of runs early in the game. If you saw in the last video, I had to come back down 10-1 to 1, as well as, I believe, down 5-1. to 1. So just multiple comebacks in multiple games in a row. That's going to be very taxing on the bullpen. But Josh Bell sends a three-run homer followed up by another base hit from Pablo Sanchez. He's 3-4. for four. Could have easily been 4-4, four for four, but... That double play was the one time he did not get on base. Anyway, this guy has Ricky Henderson. I'm surprised he didn't choose Corey Kluber, but I also feel that Ricky Henderson is a pretty underrated card in that choice pack simply because he does have 99 speed. He has the same reaction as Byron Buxton, just less fielding, a less attribute for the fielding category. But anyway, uh, Josh Donaldson goes deep once again. Byron Buxton's adding on to that center field uh, hit total for Curtis Granderson as Carlos Gonzalez just misses that ball. I don't really know what happened. I thought he was going to catch it. I tried to send him to third, and I would have been out. I thought I was going to be out regardless. That was just a weird play. We end up on second base, and Shohei Otani smacks one into the gap, and that's exactly why I feel like he's so valuable. I mean, my ERA with that card is about a 7. But he has performed really well at the plate. He's been able to get a lot of those runs right back. And he can eat up some garbage innings later in the game if you get a lead. If you're uh, up by a lot like that, in that case, 11-6, to 6, I would have probably left him in for the remaining portion of the game. Anyway, I figured I would go into this Curtis Granderson simply because they did put a patch out to fix some of these missions. They fixed the voucher for the showdown moments. They fixed... A couple of things that have been glitching out and, and have been uh, either not tallying up or you haven't been able to use those vouchers or you haven't been able to redeem your your rewards. Anyway, these moments are in the first inning moments and they're not that difficult, I would say, simply because most of them are on an easy difficulty. I figured I would just try and complete them here in a row. Some of these are multi-game moments where you need to complete uh, some hitting stats in multiple games, whether Curtis Granderson, you know, destroyed the Rangers, the Indians. He destroyed a lot of teams. This card was really good. This dude was really good for the amount of years he played. I mean, I remember him on the Tigers. I'm a Tigers fan. And he had, I mean, the record for most triples in a season playing at Comerica Park. Anyway, um, or he might have even tied the record. I'm not quite sure. I think he ho holds the record. But uh, in this situation, I'm going for extra base hits. I figured I would try and advance. We already have the stolen base out of the way. We stole third. So that was just specific to this mission. Not all of them are go going to have the same, you know, uh, steal a base, extra base hits. That seemed to be the trend, though, for Curtis Granderson here. I almost got thrown out. If that's a good throw, I'm probably out. But I'm trying to complete this mission in one game. I'm trying to finish everything all in this one game right here. And that's exactly what we do. Just got lucky there. He threw a fastball right over the plate. That Granderson is a little bit uh, different in terms of the fact that he hits lefties much better with more power than he does against righties. So I like hitting lefty-lefty, especially in MLB The Show video games. I've always liked using left-handed hitters. And uh, there we get that next mission done. I think that one was on All-Star. That was tally one hit. We end up going deep. This one is tally RBIs, extra base hits, and... A specific amount of hits I think there's a variety of these missions but they're pretty straightforward they tend to throw you oh yeah RBIs and extra base hits in multiple games so you have three games to hit a few of these you can try to uh, try to complete some of these in the same game just because you want to take care of the extra base hits first you never know if you hit the ball into the shift or if you go against the shift you might be able to get a few extra base hits that way 
anyway i felt like these missions were pretty easy i just wanted to show you guys some progress on some grinding that i've been doing off offline off stream obviously i'm looking to get into streaming here pretty soon but i have had a lot of things to take care of regarding my my teaching position since we've moved to online classes for these last couple of uh weeks or whatever the last month or so of the school year we're going to i'm going to be focusing on taking care of some of that stuff before i start up a live stream anyway that's going to do it for that video i only need one more base hit with center fielders to unlock that granderson but i did uh get some gameplay in wanted to include everything i could in that video i'll have a team update on twitter a little bit later peace out everybody